Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS. If you're new, a very warm welcome and welcome back CTKS family. My goal is to help you to be more of a financial and emotional blessing to yourself and those you love, gaining real wealth and positive excellence in the process. Trading and investing can be a life-altering situation and a chance for growth, renewal, and so many different things. And remember, it's not what you get in life, it's who you become. So, let's get into it. This video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to talk about bullish cases and bearish cases. And I'm going to present some charts. And just let me know in the comments, do you think the chart that I present with the structural levels is going bullish or do you think it's going bearish? And we can see as we look across the entire crypto market, it's all over the place. Bitcoin came down, Bitcoin went up, and we've had a big, big retracement. So let's get into those charts. Looking at Bitcoin in the past 24 hours, we've seen it come up to challenge the 69778 structural resistance level. Unfortunately, the sellers were just too strong. The buyers couldn't keep it up there. We're now watching a bit of a retracement, but just around this 66118, there's a lot of structural safety nets. So if you have a bearish case scenario, you might expect it to come down to 66118 and make its way upwards. If you have a bullish case scenario, we would expect 68156 and eventually getting above 69778. Looking from a daily perspective, we've seen Bitcoin come up and seek to challenge this $70,000 level of short-term structural resistance. We're going to see if it gets above and confirms and blows forward. If you have a bullish case scenario, you expect Bitcoin to get above 70,000 and keep on going. A consolidation approach would be to come down to around 65, gain a bit of momentum before deciding either on a bullish case or a bearish case. If you're thinking about a bearish case scenario, back to 64, wobbling to 66 and making its way down to 60 would be on the cards. Always remember, price is always moving in a wave. It doesn't go straight up and it doesn't go straight down. It's all over the place. Sometimes it consolidates before making a move either to the downside or to the upside. In terms of structure, just keep your eye on that 66118 level for structural support and for structural resistance, the 69778. Looking at Ethereum on the daily basis, we can see that ETH made a bit of a run up, found itself under pressure and has been coming down of late. It's still under structural resistance, so just keep this in mind. I put on these values to give you a bit of an idea of the X-ray vision or the real structure underneath this price chart. Let's just pop on the indicator. Not all structure is equal. Some is lighter, some is stronger. And when it's clustered, it's definitely stronger. What we can see is that Ethereum is under a degree of negative momentum. It's just, just literally holding on to this 3246 at the current time. Current price of Ethereum is 3253. If we lose the 3246 level, coming down to the 3138 or even piercing below to the 3057 is on the cards. But this is a good level of structure and we can find that the buyers will be actually leaning in at this particular time. If you're under a bearish case, that's what you're expecting. But for a bullish case, you would seek to find support at 3246, finding support at 3296 and making your way up. 3394, uh, 95 and 3525 are the levels to watch because these are reasonably strong from a selling or structural resistance perspective. With the potential for Solana to get its own ETF, Solana has been on a tear and it's notoriously a very strong project. Let's have a look at the structural levels. We can see that Solana has quite a degree of structural support underneath it, just like Ethereum. 
Specifically, if you have a bearish case, you would expect the 182.57 structural support level to be breached, going down to the 179.54 and just retesting this 170 and 12. But if you have a bearish case or short perspective, just be aware that this 170.12 is really quite strong. If you've got a bullish case, you would expect to come up to that 194.49 and just above that, you can see around that 203.54, there's a lot of selling pressure inside this particular chart. So just keep your eyes on that. If I come back to the one hourly basis, it's a pretty good indicator of where Solana's price is going. Is it breaking out of this range? And at the moment, it's seeking to break out of the 182.57. So that's fairly constructive and positive news for Solana. We know the price is always moving between structural levels. And when we look at total crypto market cap with the indicator on, we can see that this $2.329 trillion mark has just acted as very strong buying support. And that's exactly what support is supposed to do. These lines are not normal lines. They are structural levels. These particular lines are called SLs or Stanfield levels because they come from marking up all of price history with level one and level two standard certification. What we've seen in total crypto market cap is that we came up to this $2.36 trillion mark and we retested and we're going up to the $2.41 trillion. Unfortunately, we were rejected from there. The sellers came down and pushed it all the way down. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's wonderful to see you here. And a little quote I wanted to share with you, extract gratitude from every day. There's always something to be grateful for. And Kate and I are really grateful to be sharing this time together with you today. We know the price is always moving in a wave and the sellers have gone in on mass inside the crypto market and push the price upwards. So we're seeking to re-challenge this 2.41 trillion if you have a bullish perspective. If you have a bearish perspective, you expect an underside retest on this 2.322 trillion and a movement down. Are you going bullish or bearish? Please let me know in the comments. For Litecoin, if you've got a bullish stance, you would expect us to come up from that 71.57 structural support level and challenge the 73.18. If you've got a bearish stance, you would expect that to get an underside retest and move down to the 70.32 level. Price is always moving in a wave. So just saying it must go up or it must go down just defies the reality of price. You just want to take advantage of these waves as much as possible. BNB is currently 583 and 80 cents. We saw it come all the way down and test structural support at 573.70. If you're expecting a bearish case scenario, you would expect it lose this 583. 20 level of structural support make its way down through the 579.60 and start to wobble around here. That 567.30 is quite a good level of structural support. For a bullish case, getting above 589.60 and going through the 593.70 up to the 603.20 would be your path. Please let me know in the comments, are you feeling bullish or bearish on BNB? Looking at Ethereum Classic on the one hour basis, we can see that it's currently 2319 and at 2322, there's quite a lot of structural overhead resistance. We've been rejected from here before, but we understand that how Bitcoin goes is how the entire crypto market goes. If we were expecting a bullish case, we would expect to get above 2322 and make our way up to 2389. If we lose this particular level of structural or if the sellers are too strong here, we would expect to come down through that 2293 and then challenge the 2252 and 2240 levels. This is quite strong. So we could get a really good reaction like we got in here when the crypto market retraced. Please let me know in the comments, what do you think? Are we going bullish or are we going bearish on Ethereum Classic? 
When we look through more and more cryptos, we can gain an understanding of the strength or weakness inside the crypto market. When looking at Bitcoin Cash on the hourly basis, we can see that there's quite considerable structural support below the current price, which is 393.40. At 388.10 and 379.90, there's quite good structural support inside the market structure of Bitcoin Cash. From a bullish perspective, coming up to that 404.70 is on the cards. And from a bearish perspective, we have quite a bit of support underneath. Please let me know in the comments, do you think we're going bullish or bearish on Bitcoin Cash? And how could this relate to how we go on other cryptos? For example, if Bitcoin Cash is coming down, would that mean that the alts are coming down with it? perhaps even including your alt. And if Bitcoin Cash is going up, do you think that signifies strength in Bitcoin and therefore in your alts? Of course, if you're not in Bitcoin Cash, that is. ADA or Cardano is 42.30 at the current time. We've seen that similar price action occur inside ADA's price chart. And we would expect this, how Bitcoin and total crypto market cap go and how they either sell down or rebound up is going to be reflected in the charts of the other alts. If you're holding ADA and you want to dollar cost average in around that 3984 or 3896 level is ideal. But if you're expecting a bullish case, just be aware of the resistance at 4325 and upwards around that 4477 mark. In ADA, do you think we're going bullish or do you think we're going bearish? We've gone through the structural levels on Bitcoin, total crypto market cap, and a lot of the other alts, but we can go through any of these structural levels. Just please let me know what structure you would like me to go through on next video. You can just simply put in what's inside the box that you would like to look at and whatever gets the most votes is gonna win. So please let me know inside the comments which one that you would like to see in tomorrow's video. Here's a bonus chart to get us going. When we look at gold, we're currently 2386. We're just below, just marginally below that 2387 light structural resistance level. And here we've analyzed nearly 70,000 days of data to get these particular levels. If gold gets up to that 2392, there's a lot of structure which is hanging around there, which means that the sellers will be quite keen to push the price down. There's a very light level above it at 2396. If we're expecting a bearish case scenario, for example, a bit of a spike in the yields or a contraction in economic activity, we would expect that 2377 and 2375 mark to be our first levels of structural support. And then we've got a bit of a fresh air gap down to that 2356. So it could overshoot it if we're looking at negative price momentum. Please let me know in the comments, what do you think? Are you expecting bearish case scenarios for gold or bullish case scenarios? And just remember, price is always moving in a wave. It can move very, very quickly between structural support and structural resistance levels. The key is just to know where they are, know how clustered they are, know how strong they are and where they are. Please let me know in the comments, what would you like to see in tomorrow's show? Which particular structural levels? I look forward to your comments. And if you would like the structural levels on any of these charts, you can find them at ctksmethod.org. Have a great day or night ahead, my friends, and Kate and I look forward to catching up with you again in the next video. Bye for now.